Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in Chiang Mai, Thailand, and just a really quick lunch today in the area that we're staying, which is in southern Chiang Mai. And this is a restaurant that serves Thai J cuisine. And J is the equivalent of vegan in Thai. So this is just a laid-back little restaurant. You can immediately see that they serve J food. This is the this is in, in Thai it says J. Um, and it's usually written in red with a yellow sign. So we're just gonna stop in here, see what they have, and just order a quick meal. Hello. What is this? Oh, Nam Pek Ong. Nam Pek Ong. Nam Pek Plan. Gang Hom. 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 Gang เออใช้ถ้วยได้ได้ได้ครับกินง่ายดีโอเคครับครับขอน้ำเป็กองก็ย่ำเห็ดโอเคขอย่ำเห็ดด้วยครับแกงมัสมันอะไรแกงมัสมันเอามัสมันมาครับนี้มัสมันแกงเห็ดแกมีแกงเห็ดขอมัสมันก็ได้ครับA laid-back little family restaurant. Uh, it's served Khao Kang style, which is where the dishes are pre-cooked, different curries, different dishes. So you get rice, and then you can choose the variety. You just pick and choose the different dishes that you like. And so we got a variety of different dishes that Ying and I are going to eat for lunch today, and dishes them out, and then you can bring them self-service to a table that you choose. โอ้มันพริกมันพริกด้วยพริกทอดนี่เหมือนกันไหมครับเหมือนกันโอเคเหมือนกันโอเคผมก็จะเอาอีกหนึ่งชอบเผ็ดเผ็ดครับได้เลยโอเคถ้ากินแล้วมีขายได้นะโอเคนี่ขายโอเคห้าสิบนะฮะสิบก็จะเอาอีกหนึ่งชอบเผ็ดเผ็ดครับถ้ากินแล้วมีขายได้นะโอเคนี่ขายโอเคนี่ขายโอเคGot all the food, four different dishes, plus rice, plus a bunch of fried chilies, and then the great thing is, it's like all you can eat chilies. It's chilies, but instead of fish sauce, it's uh, soy sauce. There's there's even uh, dry chili as well. Four different dishes. The one over here, this one is geng masaman, masaman curry. Looks like mostly potato and carrot in there. Uh, Nam Pek Ong, which is a tomato relish dip, and it looks like there might be a little bit of uh, crumbled tofu inside of there, and you can smell the tartness of those tomatoes. And then another dish, another curry is called Gang Tae Pol, which is a coconut milk based curry, usually with water morning glory in it. And then finally, what do you call it? Yum Hit, Yum Hit, like a mushroom salad, but more like a mushroom boil. Oh, yeah, basil in there as well. I want to try this Nam Pek Ong first. Oh, and he said it's cow uh, rice berry, which is the purple rice, but I think it's just a little bit and then mixed in. And then some of these chilies as well. Mm. Oh wow, with those fried chilies, that's what bumps up the flavor. Mm. But the tomato is really good. It's just like whole chunky, stewed, really tart. It's not sweet at all, but it's tart. It's sour, sour tomatoes with little crumbles of tofu in it. Mmm, that's delicious. We'll take this opportunity though to add on a little bit of chilies which are marinating in soy sauce for a little extra boost of, of spice. There we go. Okay, now, now we are ready to dig in further. 
Masaman curry. And looks like very light coconut milk. Uh, potatoes and carrots in here. really light in flavor. But you can taste the, the curry powder in there. Mm. Yeah, it's light in flavor, but delicious. A little bit watery. I don't even know if there's, if there's any coconut milk in there, it's very light. Um, they can't eat coconut milk in J food, right? So it is. You know what? I think you taste the cumin in there. But I like how it's just very light and not overly spicious, not overly... It goes great with the chilies, with the, the soy sauce chilies and the fried chilies. The potato just has this really creamy texture, which is really nice too. It's not starchy. Potato, it doesn't have a starchy texture at all, but really creamy. And then this one is the gang tape hole. You should try it, Mark. Gang tape hole. Really good too. The vegetables are just cooked until they're totally wilted down and they just sort of melt in your mouth. There's some Thai eggplant in there. I think there might be some um, bamboo shoot as well. And again, the coconut milk is very light, if any. It might not even be coconut milk. So it might be really, I don't even know if there's coconut milk in here in this version of theirs. But I think it's, I think it's quite tasty though, especially with those chilies. Um, that just totally melts in your mouth. That makes it vegetable. Mm. Wow. It's amazing actually, and it has this sourness to it as well. Okay, and then finally that yam head. A mix of mushrooms. These look like oyster mushrooms, I believe. And then there's some herbs in here. I see some, maybe some sawtooth coriander and some basil. And I'll just eat this like a soup. What I like about their food is nothing is overly salty, but the flavors are great. The the vegetables, you taste all the herbs, um, and then of course you can add more chilies, but even some of the soups, some of the, um, the curries are nicely spiced already. And these fried chilies are a must. That's one of the highlights of coming here. And Ying likes the Geng Pei Po so much that she already went to go order another bowl of it. <laughs> she wants her own bowl. Uh, but it is really good. It's not, it's not thick, it's not rich. It doesn't have that typical really heavy coconut cream flavor or taste to it. Um, if any, maybe just a tiny bit. Okay, so you did say a little bit of coconut milk, but I think it's very little. Just to give it a, a little bit of richness, that, but not, it's not overly buttery or or rich, yeah. it keeps, feels light and still fresh, and then the vegetables just dissolve. The eggplant and the seeds just totally dissolve, but they're like a sponge at the same time. Now it just soaked up all of that broth. style as well. Once you finish your meal, you take your plates and you put them, self-service, put them in the back here in the, the bucket. All right. And also along with the whole khao gang, which is the rice and curries, he also has, they also have khao soy, which are Northern Thai curry noodles and with the ala type of just uh, J vegan noodles but I'm pretty full. That was perfect. Uh, so next time, we'll try the Khao Sai. But great, great little spot. There's a song. There's a song. There's a song. There's a song.
น้ำพริกอองแล้วมีอะไรอีกน้ำพริกอองผมกินสี่อย่างยังกินสองอย่างแล้วก็มีผัดซีอิ๊วแล้วก็ผัดซีอิ๊วแล้วก็น้ำส้มแล้วก็น้ำเปล่าข้าวสองจานค่ะ We're just trying to figure out, remember what we even ordered. Why is it? 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 About 30 cents. So oh, that is a great deal. Fantastic food. I love the flavors, the vegetable mixtures, uh, and then his fried chilies. Okay, that is one of the top reasons to come here, just for that. Those bottles of fried chilies, which you can just sprinkle onto your rice, providing so much flavor to every bite you eat. And then additionally, the chilies, the fresh chilies, marinated in soy sauce. Oh, that was just... Ultra satisfying, I'm happy. This is a laid back spot. This is family run, friendly service. Great place to eat vegetarian food, J food, when you're in Chiang Mai, especially in the south. I'm not sure, are we actually in Hangdong, Mayung? Okay, we are in a place called Hangdong, which is just south of, a huge area just south of Chiang Mai. Uh, but it's Chiang Mai area. And last one. Oh, Ran. กิ้งหลิวกิ้งหลิวกิ้งหลิวกิ้งหลิวกิ้งหลิวกิ้งหลิวกิ้งหลิวกิ้งหลิวกิ้งหลิวกิ้งหลิวกิ้งหลิวก